All right, welcome to Engine, everybody. Today we have our uh, volunteer, Sarchenko Anastasia, with us. Yeah, so hi, everyone. My name is Sarchenko Anastasia. I'm from the big city in Ukraine, which is named Kharkiv. I've been in there for all my life. And what I'm passionate about in my life is, first of all, learning new languages such as English is the main thing for me. The second of all, right now I'm living in Germany and I'm studying German language and I speak Spanish a little bit. And I would try to study French in the future. That's my kind of goal, maybe. And also, I'm a dancer for all my life. I've been doing dancing since four years old, so I like this so much in my life. So I think this is just a little bit which everyone can know about me. Nice. Okay, thank you. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about motivation to join. Why did you? How did you even think of engine? Yeah, of course. Like my motivation bringing me from the memories from my university in Ukraine. So I've been studying in the Karazin National University and I've been studying international relationship. And this means that I would need to represent my country in a global arena to show Ukraine and of course to use the English. And I've never been so powerful and so confident in my English using because I thought that I'm not good enough since I've been living in Ukraine. It's not the American I mean, speaking place when you can't use English properly. So one of my friends from university, she told me one day, like, Nastya, you should try to join the engine. You should try to speak with American bodies. You can increase your capabilities. And maybe one day you can represent us because I was a good student and I'm still a good student. And I'm still thinking about represent my country in a global level. So yeah, it was just kind of my motivation because I would like to become more you know, confident in the question to use my power. It's connected with my self-esteem, it's connected with my confidence. And yes, this was just the question because I, I would like to be better, like all the time, just to increase my knowledge in all cases. Nice, nice. Yes, I actually hear a lot from our students that Engine has helped increase the confidence and self-esteem. So yeah, this was kind of like the first milestone that you reached. Has there, be, has there been any other dreams that Engine helped reach? Yeah, actually, all my life, I've been living this American dream. I've always dreamed about to come to America, to join American community, to study in American university. I don't know, some of my friends have been studying in America, and it became my dream because I thought it's going to be so cool if I could use really English in a really good level, to speak with people in English, to live in the English society, I mean, in the place where people use in English. So I've been thinking about to became a person who lives in America and study in the university. And so I joined the engine program as it was when I was in the university and still in the university. And so after that, I was thinking about how I can reach this. And unfortunately for the situation which has happened in our world, right now I'm a displaced person. I moved because of the war in Ukraine and I'm living in the Germany. But hopefully in my life, I achieved my dream I've been to Canada, to the Montreal. I've been living in Montreal just alone, without my parents, without my friends for two months. And it was the harsh time for me. It was really hard to adjust for a language to understand that I can't use right now Ukrainian or Russian or another language, it's just only English. And it was really harsh for me, but I've been with my volunteer. And she was praising me all the time that I can do better. We've been talking actually in our sessions for like two hours, three hours, discussing different questions. Oh. And she told me like, you are fluent. Like you can do this. Why are you worrying about it? You can, you're now in the America and now you can use your power like fully as you, you can with me. So after that, I just started to feel myself so confident concerning the question that I really can speak English fluently. People really can understand me. And actually, engine fulfilled my dream about the America because I think that without the engine and my volunteer, I hadn't, you know, will think about to go to America just alone, without my friends, without the family, because question was in the English. To be capable to live independent alone because you know the language and you can speak with people so just grateful for engine in this kind of case wow yeah thank you for sharing this sorry no this is honestly pretty cool and especially when you mentioned about your sessions being like two or three hours long like this is i feel like an unusual case and it really shows like how much uh, how much you are connected with your body uh, has there been anything that happens anything else that happened in canada um, actually, 
it was really a nice experience for me since I moved to the Canada. I continued to speak with my body. And first of all, I was kind of afraid because I feel this like language boundary anyway, because I thought that people not going to understand me or something like that. But I've been living in an American, I mean, Canadian family, which take me like a refugee. And uh, since I gained this experience with my body, I wasn't been afraid to speak with this family. I wasn't been afraid to get new friends, even though it was really hard since the war started to get new people into my life, since how I can just continue my life. But my volunteer not only helped me to realize that I can be powerful in the English case, but she also helped me to understand that I need to continue my life right now. I don't need to continue my life after or while. I, I mean, I mean, I need to continue now. I need to try to invite people into my life. And for me, it was crazy, you know, that like I can speak fluently with the people who are English speaking people. Like my friends, they are from Mexico. Basically, they don't speak Russian or Ukrainian and that I can have friends with which I can speak like holy when we are going out just in English. For me, it was kind of new and crazy experience because I haven't thought that I can speak with people like English, like calmly for two, three, five hours, just going out discussing different topics. It's again, it's like kind of thankful for the engine because it just, I get this confidence because of this, like 100%. Wow, okay. Wow, this is really a powerful story, I feel like. And um, I definitely feel like I know what you're talking about because I've experienced almost the same thing. And it's a totally like brain switch when you're not even talking your uh, native language, you are now talking a completely new language. And especially when you hear the jokes and everything, you're just like, it's like a totally different mentality. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit about your volunteering experience. Yeah, so since I moved to the Montreal, I started to think about that since I gained this confidence, and for me it was the main thing that I was safe. And I'm this type of person who can just sit, you know, and do nothing while this really big thing, really big bad things happening in my country. So as I was thinking about if I can't help my people, like physically, I mean, you know, to take some special things for them into Ukraine, I can help them by using my English power. Like, why not? There are so many people right now, Ukrainian people who don't speak English fluently and who really need it because since they moved to different countries where English is like the best language to speak maybe it's you know Germany or whatever but you still can use English because it's international one and I decided to join actually I've been thinking about for it like so many times because I didn't so I didn't think that I'm so good enough but in one point I just decided to apply for the engine to join I get this like engine volunteer interview the handbook I studied a lot and then I had my first students I was really scary first of all I was really really scary because I thought I'm not gonna become like a teacher for the people people not gonna like change because of me and then right now it's been already eight or seven months since I'm volunteer and uh, like recently we've been talking with my students about the new year so it's been a 2023 already and we've been discussing the past year how it went mm -hmm. and we've been discussing this in case of English their mentality productivity and actually a lot of them like I mean all of them I have like three students right now they changed they changed not only in the case of English about the increasing of the confidence, they also not afraid to speak anymore. Because I sent them this like needed analysis before our sessions. And the one word which described their English using was afraid. And then I asked them, are you afraid right now? And they all said no. So for me was this is like the main case that they're not afraid anymore about using their power. So basically in my, my sessions, we discussing a lot of things, not only about the English, but I'm also paying attention to the mental health because I realized that it's like really necessary to pay attention to mental health since the war began. And though I'm here in the Europe, but these people in Ukraine, I'm totally understood that I need to talk about them, about the mental health with them more. I had an unpleasant situation when my students was bombed while our sessions and I was with them. I was talking in English or I was talking either on Ukrainian or Russian just to support them. 
And so about the positive things, it's just, I feel the positive impact, not only to my people with which I was working, my students, my bodies, but also on myself, because every session made me feel, you know, so energetic, gave me self-confidence, gave me all the stuff, gave me changes even into my life. I bring to my bodies the new routines into their life, the new hobbies. Like, for example, one of my students, she joined dancing. Since I've been telling, oh, okay. first of all, in my introductions that I'm a dancer, so she started to dance. And it was crazy for me when she, like, literally say that I'm starting to dance. And I'm just like, it's really, I'm really proud of this person, that she started to do something that I like and she like right now, that she found passion about. And as well as some of my students finally gain work in the English sphere. I mean, one of the girls, she's working in the English collective. She's talking only in English. And she's always writing me messages like, I'm thankful, I'm grateful that I have you. You changed my mind, you changed my perspectives. And I'm just so grateful, first of all, for these people because they changed my life. And I'm feeling after every session myself so confident. I'm ready to do everything. I'm ready to get new ideas. And I'm so grateful also for myself that I get this impact into their life. So these people changed and they continue to change in every day and every time. And uh, yeah, and we just becoming actually really good friends with each other. We're not only talking about like we are teacher and student or something like that. We're also talking as a friends, discussing the problems, if, if problems can happen or just discussing our life. So this kind of my volunteer experience, which is continue. And I think I will continue to do this for a long time because I like it so much. Wow, that's awesome. Um, I honestly have a lot to comment, but I'm not going to take time with it. But it's honestly amazing that you're doing so much impact. And that's like the most... Um, like the most crazy moment for me is that now your students are working in the English sphere. Like this is, I feel like the most outcome that you could ever get. Like, and I'm sure you, you'll do even more. So I'm super excited for your engine journey to continue. Um, do you have anything else that you would like to share? Uh, I just want to say for people, like for everyone, since the engine is connected with the Ukraine, the one thing which is, I'm saying like every time that people really should continue their life right now. They shouldn't wait for a specific moment to join some communities, to find new people, to get new routines, to start doing something or some activities or something like that just right now. 